A respected leader of the Catholic Church in Rhode Island is being laid to rest right now. A funeral mass for former Bishop Robert Mulvey started just about an hour ago on this Thursday. Here are live pictures inside of the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence as the faithful have been gathering to pay tribute. The Mass is also streaming live on our website, WPRI.com, right now. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live in Providence this noontime looking back at his life and legacy. Well, Danielle, Bishop Robert Mulvey is being remembered as a priest, priest, a bishop's bishop, and a people's bishop. We're live outside St. Peter and Paul Cathedral in Providence, where they are preparing the communion during his funeral mass right now inside. Bishop Mulvey died on December 28th at the age of 88. So let's take another live look inside the church right now. Bishop Mulvey served first as the assistant bishop of the Providence Diocese for two years and then from 1997 to 2005 as the bishop. Prior to coming to Providence, he was bishop of the Wilmington, Delaware Diocese and before that of Manchester, New Hampshire. Above all else, he's remembered as a humble, kind, gentle servant of God who deeply cared for his parishioners and fellow clergy. That's evident today as several bishops from across the Northeast as well as Cardinal Sean O'Malley helped celebrate his funeral mass. Bishop Mulvey was known for having a zero tolerance policy for clergy sex abuse years before the scandal rocked the church. He also helped console in faith the victims and family of the station nightclub fire here in Rhode Island. Just passed in 2017, Bishop Mulvey celebrated 60 years as a priest and 40 years as a bishop. After his funeral mass is done here, he will be buried at St. Anne Cemetery in Cranston. Live in Providence. I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. And as we're back live inside of the cathedral again, you can see the celebrant there preparing the Eucharist. That's, uh, of course, Bishop uh, Thomas Tobin as friends and family and faithful are reflecting. Let's listen in for just a moment. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Lord, I'll say the word. And again, as the service continues this afternoon, you can watch the full funeral mass streaming live on our website at WPRI.com.